Well, this is where it all begins. Um, these are my seedling trays. Here I have bok choy, bib lettuce. Here I have a very interesting type of spinach that I'm growing for the first time. It's called Monstre de Viraflé, the monster of Viraflé. It's a uh, French variety. Iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, Simpson lettuce. Quick shot of the garden. Um, I've got mustard greens and collards and several different kinds of kale and spinach. Over here I've got uh, romaine lettuce growing and then of course tomatoes. Over there you see some cassava. These are my spinach, baby spinach. Uh, up there you see tomatoes, and green beans, onions, garlic. And here is my little hydroponic bed. I think I'm going to double the size of this uh, very soon. We'll go into more detail on another video, but right now I just want to... I've been getting so many questions about my garden that I thought I would make a little video show people what's going on. Um, these are these are tiny bok choy. I'm, now, these are meant to be miniature bok choy but their growth has just been explosive. Um, tomorrow it will be three weeks that I put these in my nutrient solution and it's hard to believe this but three weeks ago when I introduced them to the nutrient solution they only had two leaves and no visible roots. Now I'm going to lift this. Look at these beautiful roots. Just gorgeous. Um, and I grow them. I don't know. Can we see in there? Uh, I think for the moment I'm not going to actually discuss the solution that I'm growing them in. But what I would like to do is the really most remarkable bok choy that I have, and once again it is a, uh, a miniature. I'm going to shut the camera off and go over to that. It's going to be, maybe I can bring it over here and we can do a comparison. Here it is. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to harvest it. I'm going to weigh it. I planted these all on the same day. Um, there was only one difference. I'm hoping that we can compare here the enormous difference between the size of this one that I'm holding in my hand. I'm kind of stumbling around here. Um, and the roots. It's a really amazing root growth. Uh, once again, I'm emphasizing, you can see my hand in there. This is not a miniature toy bok choy at all, but if it were growing in regular ground, it would be. Also, it would probably take uh, six or seven weeks for it to get to be this big. I've, I've never seen a plant grow so fast um, in this family, that is. And the only difference is that in the nutrient solution, uh, I introduced an aquarium bubbler, an air stone, so that the water was very heavily oxygenated and it's like uh, you know bok choy on steroids it's quite amazing I've grown so fond of it I'm, I'm not <laughs> I don't think I'm going to enjoy eating it it'll be like getting a pig for and then getting so attached to it that uh, one can't eat it but it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Okay, I'm here with my friend Liz, and she. there's this one bok choy here. Uh, believe it or not, it was meant to be a miniature bok choy. It was planted about 21 days ago as a seedling with two leaves, and it's been telling me, give me the Liz, give me the Liz. So just serendipitously, I ran into Liz 
at an intersection today and asked her to follow me home. She's going to pull it out and uh, show the roots. You want to go ahead, Liz? Liz McTeer. Okay, look at that. Can I go over there? Yeah, come on over here and I'll follow you. And she's just come from Bill, Bill Stan. She she volunteers for Bill on Mondays. And Bill runs an organic farm, probably the best in our area. Great, Liz, thank you. Isn't that beautiful? Can you just hold it up and show the roots there? Here. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you.